I've been a Bears fan for about 30 years, and I've grown accustomed to seeing a lot of mediocre to bad football. That's the truth. It's the reality of the situation that comes along with being a Bears fan. Just come to grips with it and accept it and hope at some point in time that the organization will stop its pathetically predictable pattern of behavior that they have exhibited in particular over the large portion of the past two plus decades. Poor drafting, bad coaching hires, the works. Um, but even in all that time of watching all this mediocre and bad Bears football, I cannot remember a time that I've been more ashamed and embarrassed and disappointed in a team than I am this 2014 Chicago Bears team. This is terrible. I mean, these assholes don't even care. And that's, that's what makes it even worse. They're not even trying. And you can't tell me that they do care. And you can't tell me that they are trying. Because if you have a set of eyes and you're watching the games every Sunday, you see the truth in front of you. This team does not care. This team is not trying. Three straight blowout losses where this team just did not show up to play and never bothered to try to play. Three straight blowout losses. And two straight games where they've surrendered over 50 points as a team. That's two straight games of over 50 points given up. On top of that, the so-called elite offense has failed to show up at any point in time in 2014. This Bears team lacks effort, energy, enthusiasm, passion, except when it comes to fighting with each other or fighting with idiotic fans on social media. Then this Bears team is Super Bowl worthy. Unfortunately, what goes in the win-loss column in the standings is the effort that you demonstrate on the field and the execution on the field. And of course, that has been severely lacking over the past month plus with this team in this 2014 season. I sit there Sunday night and I watch the Bears-Packers game. I don't even care that much about the rivalry anymore. How sad and pathetic is that? Because I know that twice a year, basically, the Bears are going to face the Packers. Aaron Rodgers is going to own them, take the lumps, take the loss, and move on to the next fucking game. But even with that being said, this is primetime Sunday night football on NBC. And you're down 42 to nothing at halftime. It's not even just that you're bad or that you suck because you do. It's that you don't give a fuck and you're not even trying to care. And that is also true. Never been more ashamed or more embarrassed of a Bears team than I am this team. The way it looks right now, this team ain't winning another damn game. They have imploded. They have self-destructed. And I anticipated this could happen before the season. I thought all this bullshit about this Bears team being a playoff team was just that. Bullshit. And I was right, clearly. But this is embarrassing. What a goddamn joke. So not only am I embarrassed and ashamed of this Bears team, I find myself in a position where in a way I'm ashamed and embarrassed to be a Bears fan. And that's not due necessarily just to the performance of the team. You've got idiotic fans on social media that are sitting there and going after Mark Tressman's daughter. Like she has something to do with this performance. Like she's the one that can't motivate these players. Like she's the one that can't get Jay Cutler to play like anything other than a mediocre starting quarterback. Like she's the one that assembled this team that general manager Phil Embry did. Like she's the one that put Mel Tucker in a position to be the team's defensive coordinator when he's clearly in over his fucking head. You've got people sitting there and blasting on Mark Tressman's daughter on Twitter. And they're talking about her. Talking about wanting to come after her. Talking about this. Talking about they want to rape her. What the fuck is wrong with people? I'm ashamed and embarrassed of this team's performance, too. But you don't see me sitting there tweeting out to freaking coaches' daughters, talking about how I want to rape them or bully them or find them alone in a corner at night. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'd expect this type of bullshit out of other teams, fam. I'd expect this type of bullshit out of European soccer hooligans. I'd expect Bears fans to be a little bit more sensible 
and a little bit more understanding of the truth. And you would hope after all these years of watching bad and mediocre-ass Bears football that a 3-6 and six Bears team that you should have known was going to be this fucking bad to begin with if you would only listen to me, you stupid fucks, wouldn't sit there and have you so pissed off and so bent out of shape that you exhibit this going far beyond even troll-ass behavior. This is just pathetic. This is just ridiculous. And this shit needs to stop. If you want to sit there and talk about how Mark Tressman doesn't deserve to have a job after this season, I'm with you. I don't like to talk about people losing their job, but sometimes it's necessary. The performance isn't there. This is supposed to be a quarterback whisper. Well, clearly he's not whispering loud enough to Jay Cutler. Clearly this team isn't fighting hard for him. At least in the Gerard and Rodstead years, even when those teams were bad, I at least thought they fucking tried to at least put forth effort. This team's so supposedly talented, they don't even care. They're not putting forth an effort. Two straight weeks, they're giving up 50-plus points. An entire season where this elite offense hasn't shown itself one fucking time. And this guy was supposed to be some offensive mastermind. Maybe there's a reason he hadn't been in the league for a decade as a coach. Maybe there's a reason he was a head coach in the CFL and not the NFL. You want to talk about firing those people? You want to talk about that based off of the performance on the field? I'm with you. I join with you. But at some point in time, you cross a line. And you ruin any validity to any points that you freaking have. If you have to sit there and get your rocks off by tweeting to coaches' daughters and talking shit about their dads and then talking shit about them like they have anything to fucking do with it, you are a bum, you are a loser, and you are the worst form and level of Bears fan that I can imagine. It makes me ashamed and embarrassed to be a fucking Bears fan. My advice to you, get a grip, get a clue, get a life, and leave these family members fucking alone. Now, if they come after you and start talking to you, then you can respond, but keep some decorum. Be civil. Stay away from the personal shit. Talk about the job-related performances because there is no defense for this fucking 2014 Bears team performance. But you're not helping matters any. And you're just making all Bears fans like me look like morons and idiots, and sickos. Stop the insanity. Leave Mark Tressman's daughters alone. It's ridiculous that you'd even drag them into it. Like they have any fucking thing to do with it.